coming days, we'll be hearing the experiences of those who've been fighting the war. This evening, the incredible recovery of Craig Lundberg, blinded by a grenade attack. He's been talking to Ashley Derricott. <laughs> been invited by the England squad to represent my country in, in Europe, in the European Championships, playing blind football. And then there's the Paralympics. I want a gold medal. I want to know that I'm the best at what I do. I've run a London marathon. I've done a 350 mile bike ride, in both for charity. Okay, if you want to wave to you. I've flew an aeroplane. I've worked with kids with disabilities, getting them into sport. I was the face of the poppy in 2007, which was a great experience. I've still got loads to do, like I said, I've got Europe this summer and climbing Kilimanjaro with, with my mate Toppen. Everything really was taken away from me at one point. So much has been given back um, and I've got so much out of life and I'm still going to do loads more. Craig Lundberg's life was changed forever by the war in Iraq. I joined the army in 2002. Um, straight after I left school, there weren't really much for me to do. And I just thought the army was a quick, easy way out of just getting away from home and doing my own thing. And I was quite independent and sort of wanted to spread my wings. Craig landed for his first tour of Iraq a week after his 18th birthday. Three years later, he returned, but things had changed. The threat was a lot higher. Um, they were, the Iraqis this time were a lot more organised and, and they were a lot more focused on what they wanted to do, um, especially the people who didn't want us there. You had to be a lot more on the ball this time. The tempo had been raised a thousand percent. Lance Corporal Craig Lundberg volunteered for Recce Platoon. He was blown up during one of many raids on the homes of insurgents. We must have been in a firefight for about 20 minutes. I remember a flash in the foot and it in the deck. And that's it, do you know what I mean? It, it, I just remember a big bang and just being on the floor. Craig took a hit from two rocket-propelled grenades. He was blinded. My left eye was badly, badly damaged. My right eye had a bit of, big bit of shrapnel in. Um, my jaw was broke. My nose was broke. I had flash burns all up the side of my face. Um, and all my arm was all open. Over the following weeks, two of his friends would be less fortunate. Smudge and Jonesy weren't as lucky as me, but at the end of the day, that's the job that we do. And unfortunately, they're, they're the circumstances, that they're the possibilities that can happen. We don't think about the injuries and we don't think about coming home in a box with the Union Jack draped over it. Um, because if we did, we probably wouldn't be there. Over the last two years, Craig has had to rebuild his life. You'll find the Everything, I lost everything, but I've got it back now. And you know what? I've got my own house. I've got a wonderful girlfriend that I love very much. It's took time, but the only, the only person I've got to thank for it is myself. A truly remarkable mm. young man. Well done to him.